Every page you create on Vbout comes with its own set of settings, configuration, and tracking. I'm going to show you where you can find these settings under the landing page option. From the left panel, you can access your landing pages. Either create one from scratch or you can go ahead and edit. I'm going to create one and this will immediately will prompt me with this pop-up. The first thing I can do is upload my favicon which changes that little tab uh, logo that shows up from your top of your browser. You can also give the project a name for your own reference. This will not be seen by the visitor and you can call it anything that you will remember down the road. So this could be the compare offer or something with the date if you'd like. Compare marketing platforms. This is an SEO title that shows up on the top of the tab and you can add descriptions as needed. The second option is the domain settings and you have different ways to utilize our pages by either taking our default URL which you see right here or you can configure this and white label it as your own. You have to verify your domain first and you see how I have two pages verified here. So all I need to do is just click on events and now the URL will become this versus the default. If you don't like this trailing slash, you can click on it, modify it, and you can say uh, change it to anything you want. Just separate it by a dash so you don't have spaces and random characters. Okay. And save. That's your, your new URL. There's also an option to embed if you'd like. Not the ideal option, but it is available. If you'd like to make your domain a root domain, so that means this particular page I'm building can, can be reserved to events.leadbuffer.com without the trailing slash, I can activate this option. Okay, Should be quite simple. So now it would be like the root for that particular domain and can be utilized also with your www.leadbuffer.com. Of course, you can only assign one landing page as a root because the if you assign another page, another landing page to be a root, uh, it will override the first one, right? Then you have tracking where you can activate any third party tracking from Google Analytics to retargeting pixels and so on. And if you like to tag every single link inside the page with the UTM, you can append them here and this will automatically force any click globally on the page to have UTM appended. And finally, you have the styles option. This is where you can configure your H1s, H2s, the link buttons, and the hyperlinks. Make sure to save once you're done so the settings are there. And if you ever like to access them again, you can see the top corner under tools. You have settings, page domains, uh, which gets you back to that pop-up. There are some resizing options. Uh, you have previewing in browser or shareable URL. We recommend shareable URL. You have a revision which displays the history of all the edits you've done. And you can also uh, simply save and confirm. So this is how you can access your settings available on your landing pages.